Well, hello everyone, Henry here. Uh, today we're gonna start doing some ARDMS questions. I'm going to do each specialty, about 100 questions for each specialty, uh, four videos, uh, 25 questions each. Later on, I'll be doing OB, vascular, pediatrics as well. And as time goes on, depending on how well this goes, I might add part twos to add more questions to each specialty. So today we'll begin with ARDMS questions for the abdomen. Here is questions one through 25. Question one, transitional cell carcinoma is commonly found in all of the following locations except A, liver, B, renal pelvis, C, urinary bladder, D, ureter. The answer is A, liver. Transitional cell carcinoma is the most common type of bladder cancer. Question two, a patient with cholecystitis most likely has an elevation in which of the following labs? Alpha fetoprotein, white blood cell count, lactate dehydrogenase, or chromaffin? The answer is B, white blood cell count. Patients with cholecystitis have inflammation in their body, and usually when there's inflammation, you have leukocytosis or incre increased white blood cells. A hypoechoic lesion is A, darker than the surrounding parenchyma, B, brighter than the surrounding parenchyma, C, cystic, or D, septated. The answer is A, darker than the surrounding parenchyma. The terms for echogenicity of tissue are hypoechoic, meaning darker, hyperechoic, meaning brighter, anechoic, meaning lacking echoes, and isoechoic, meaning about the same echogenicity as surrounding tissue. All of the following are retroperitoneal organs except A, adrenal glands, B, liver, C, kidneys, D, pancreas. The answer is B, liver. A mnemonic to remember the retroperitoneal organs is sad pucker. What is another name for renal cell carcinoma? A. Nephroblastoma B. Neuroblastoma C. Mesoblastic nephroma or D. Hypernephroma Renal cell carcinoma is also known as D. Hypernephroma A reverberation artifact that exhibits echogenic linear focus posterior to tiny gas bubbles most likely represents A. Mirror image artifact, B, posterior shadowing, C, comet tail artifact, or D, ring down artifact. The answer is C, comet tail artifact. The arrow is pointing to A, a renal cyst, B, medullary pyramid, C, renal cell carcinoma, D, renal sinus fat. So in this image, you see a normal kidney, so you know there's no renal cell carcinoma. You don't see any anechoic circular structure, so there's no renal cyst. The arrow is pointing to a hypoechoic area, and the medullary pyramids are usually hypoechoic to the renal cortex and the renal sinus. The renal sinus is usually echogenic. So the answer is B, medullary pyramid. A hepatoma is A, a benign tumor of the pancreas, B, malignant tumor of the kidney, C, benign tumor of the bile ducts, or D, malignant tumor of the liver. So the word HEPA means liver, so you know it's gonna be part of the liver. There's only one answer here with liver, so it's gonna be D, a malignant tumor of the liver. A hepatoma is also known as a hepatocellular carcinoma. So for number nine, the arrow is pointing to A, splenic artery, B, hepatic artery, C, inferior vena cava, or D, aorta? The answer is C, inferior vena cava. In this image, the arrow is pointing to? The answer is A, splenic artery. In this image, the arrow is pointing to? C, the celiac artery. In this image, the arrow is pointing to? 
C. Vertebral body. Number 13. An artifact that alters the echogenicity of a tendon. A. Anisotropy. B. Ring down artifact. C. Side lobe artifact. Or D. Mirror image artifact. The answer is A. Anisotropy. A perpendicular angle will give you a normal hyperechoic tendon. If you angle obliquely to a tendon, you get the tendon, the tendon will appear hypoechoic. Potential spaces alongside the ascending and descending colon on either side of the abdomen are called A. Central gutters B. Morrison's pouch C. Paracolic gutters or D. Pouch of Douglas So Morrison's pouch is between the liver and the kidney. The pouch of Douglas is in the pelvic. There is no such thing as central gutters. So the answer is C. Paracolic gutters. A patient referred for a thyroid ultrasound will have abnormal ranges of this, these labs. A. LFTs. B. Glucose. C. TSH. Or D. ALT. So A. LFTs, that's liver function tests. So you know that's not part of the thyroid. Glucose is used for measuring blood sugar and using uh, diagnosing diabetes. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, is the only hormone on this list that has thyroid in the title, so you know that's the answer. ALT or alanine aminotransferase is also an LFT. So the answer is TSH. TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone, along with thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine, T3, are routine thyroid labs. What is the area of the kidney called where the renal artery enters and the renal vein exits? A. Renal cortex B. Renal hilum C. Morrison's pouch or D. Crus Alright, so a hilum is usually where the vessels enter an organ, so the answer is B. Renal hilum The inferior mesenteric artery contributes to what circulation? A. Gonadal B. Cerebral C. Femoral or D. Portal The answer is D. Portal The inferior mesenteric vein as well as the superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein form the portal vein. Which of these is a branch of the superior mesenteric artery? A. Hepatic artery B. Splenic artery C. Duodenal artery or D cardinal artery So the hepatic and splenic artery are branches of the celiac axis The cardinal artery is made up. So the answer is C duodenal artery The superior mesenteric artery usually courses at a 45 degree angle to the anterior wall of the aorta The superior mesenteric artery usually courses at a 45 degree angle to the anterior wall of the aorta if the angle is very low, blank should be suspected. A. Renal cell carcinoma. B. Normal finding. C. Nutcracker syndrome. Or D. Nutcracker phenomenon. Or E. C and D. So, renal cell carcinoma has nothing to do with SMA angle. A very low SMA angle is not normal. So the answer is C and D. Both Nutcracker syndrome and nutcracker phenomenon will have a very low SMA angle. The difference between nutcracker syndrome and nutcracker phenomenon is that the syndrome is accompanied by clinical symptoms, whereas the phenomenon is just anatomical features without clinical symptoms. What is the most common collateral route in patients with portal hypertension? A. Basilic vein B. Cephalic vein C. Medial antecubital vein D coronary or left gastric vein. So the basilic, cephalic, and medial antecubital vein are veins of the arm. So the only answer that's correct would be D, coronary vein. Which of the following are associated with portal hypertension? A, splenomegaly, B, jaundice, C, ascites, or D, all of the above? The answer is D, all of the above. Which of these breast changes are commonly seen with malignancy? 
A. Skin dimpling or ulceration. B. Nipple retraction. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A and B. The answer is C. Both A and B. This tumor of the pancreas releases hormones like insulin and glucagon. A. Islet cell tumor. B. Cyst adenocarcinoma. C. Adenocarcinoma. D. Hypernephroma. The answer is A. Islet cell tumor, also known as a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor. What is the external layer of a blood vessel called? A. Tunica adventitia. B. Tunica externa. C. Tunica media. D. A and B. Or E. None of the above. So you know it's not C, tunica media, because that would be a middle layer. Tunica externa sounds like the right answer, because externa, external, outer layer. But another name for externa is adventitia. So the answer is A and B, D. This finding is most likely A, a seminoma, B, epididymal cancer, C, epidermoid cyst, or D, yolk sac tumor? The answer is C, epidermoid cyst. An epidermoid cyst is a rare benign testicular tumor which accounts for 1% of testicular tumors. It has been described as an onion skin appearance because of the concentric rings within the cyst. So that concludes the first 25 questions. Uh, check out the next video for the following 25.